So this video is still in the chapter of linear dependence and independence. Okay, so we have two vectors. They are in the um, in complex two, okay, space. Uh, the vectors will be one plus i two i, and uh, w will be one and one plus i. Okay, so this will be the coordinates. Okay, we're going to check if they are linearly independent for the complex two over the complex numbers. So over the complex field of the field of complex numbers. Okay, if you prefer. You can use this notation. Let me erase this. Okay. You can use, I use this notation. So complex 2 over the complex, the field of the complex numbers. And then we will check if the same vectors, if they are linearly independent uh, in a complex 2 plane over the field of the reals. Okay. Um, let me just remind you that two vectors will be linearly dependent if one is a multiple of the other, meaning if they if they are well if they are multiples of there is a scalar here that multiplies w and you get v. So is that true that one plus i two i do we have Oh, okay. Let us check first over the, the complex numbers. Do we have any complex number that we can put here and multiply W and get V? Well, yes, because if you you just need um, uh, a number like one plus I. So this is one number, okay, in the complex, okay. One plus I is in the complex field, okay, in the field of complex numbers. Okay, so one plus I times one, that's one plus I, and one plus I times one plus I, that will be. Uh, that will be 2i, right? So they are equal. Because 1 plus i squared, right? That's 1 plus 2 times 1 times i plus i squared. So i squared is minus 1. 1 minus 1, that's 0. So this will be 2, 2i. Okay. So these two factors, they are linearly dependent over the fields of the complex numbers. So, and what about the reals? Is there any real number where alpha is in the field of the reals? Well, of course there isn't. So, uh, V and W are independent. if we take the vector space of C2 over the reals. Okay, here these two vectors are independent and here the two vectors are dependent, linearly dependent. Now another result that keeps coming in exercises and very used in theorems and a lot of stuff is this one. We pick a set of linearly dependent uh, linearly independent vectors. Linearly independent vectors. Okay, so let us say u, v, and w are linearly independent vectors. So if u, v, and w is a set of independent vectors, so this set of vector u plus v, u minus v, and u minus 2v plus w is also independent. Okay, so for this to be independent, we need u plus v 
write u minus v and plus u minus 2 v plus w to be 0 with, I'm going to use um, going to use with x, y, and z. So they will be linearly independent if they are 0, if and only if x, y, and z are all 0. OK. Don't forget that x, y, and z here, they are scalars, OK? So x times u, x times v, yu minus yv, etc. OK. Now I have to order them, right? So that will be x will be times u plus uh, now let, uh, let me order them, no, I'm going to order them in a different way, sorry. So that's u, 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 right? Okay, so I'll put u here, x plus y plus z, right? So these three, they are already done. Okay, I hope I did not make any mistake here. Okay. So they will be um, they will be independent if and only if x, y, and z are all zero. But the thing is, here we have u, v, and w, and we know that u, v, and w that they are linearly independent. Okay, that was given. My hypothesis, u, v, and w is a set of linear independent vectors, okay? So we need x plus y plus z to be 0, x minus y minus 2z to be 0, and uh, z to be 0, okay? All at the same time. Okay, if z is 0, then we take those two. The only way of adding two numbers and subtracting the same numbers and getting zero is if they are zero. So x is zero and y is zero. So the only way here, the only way of getting this zero is if x, y, and z are all zero. So this means that this set here, this set here, is also independent. If this one is independent, this one is independent too. A very important result, very used 